and welcome along and welcome back to Seasons from Scratch here on Felsbrunn. Uh, we have finished our liming that we did last time uh, and, uh, and we're going to be getting our... Now, I lots and lots of people in the comments corrected me on this. This is not an XT... Uh, an XT3. This is an HTZ. Um, the uh, the X and the three are actually uh, Cyrillic characters, uh, as I understand it. And this uh, this is a, um, a a Russian machine. So uh, yeah, I need to uh, I need to refer to it as the HTZ and uh, and <laughs> make sure that I keep doing that. Anyway, we're gonna take our HTZ here. We're gonna head to the shop because uh, I think. Um, all of our fields might require. Let's have a look. Uh, so field thirty-one, we're actually okay. Just needs uh, doesn't need anything at the moment. Uh, Eighteen and twenty-six both need plowing. So we're going to go and get ourselves uh, a piece of equipment to plow it with. Uh, we're then going to start looking at maybe getting some animals. I think I'd like to get uh, some chickens to make sure that we have a a standard sort of daily income, really. So, it's nice, actually, it's quite nice where we're building our farm. It's right next to the shop. Uh, we also want to get our second tractor, and I have a second tractor lined up that I think will be absolutely perfect for us. Uh, nice, good, all-rounder that we can use as a yard tractor. So, uh, let's get ourselves a plow of some description. Now, we've got some interesting plows, I think, in here. The ones I'm interested in are these ones, the Rovic Leaders. Now, these, I believe, were part of the mod contest. Uh, 260 horsepower for the largest, which is 5.2 meters, compares to uh, 5.3 meters for the case. So, uh, I, th I think we'll have something different. If I put a roller on the back, uh, that will take us uh, to 33,040 pounds for this compared to again compared to the case which is only ten thousand uh we're gonna have to go with the case we're doing doing start from scratch the smallest money possible and a slightly wider my original plan was to go with this but at that amount of cost saving twenty thousand we gotta go for that so we want ten thousand pounds for that let's just add that into our kitty there we go. So we are borrowing a fair whack of money at the moment. But that was to be expected. Well, I'd start from scratch. There is no way, as far as I can tell, you can avoid uh, saving money. Uh, or avoid borrowing money, sorry. Let's see if we've got, uh, we've got a yellow or a red. We'll go with the case red. Uh, and I think it's just, yeah. We'll go with the basic design as well. The standard case international design. And we will buy that. Now I could lease uh, lease these bits, but we're going to be uh, we're going to be using this on a fairly regular basis, I think. So we'll hook this up to our HTZ. Oops. Turn the engine off. There we go. And we're going to set this going on a hired worker, so that we can get started with uh, hopefully doing some stuff with chickens. I uh, also want to look for a, uh, we want to get a cedar today, I think. Uh, we're in a position where we can because field 31, uh, as long as we get a cedar that can, can also do uh, direct seed, we should be okay. And if we can pick up a tractor that can pull one that's a direct seed, okay, then uh, we should be good. Uh, and this, this, of course, is 250 horsepower, so this will this will do this absolutely fine. Uh, it'll probably do the cedar fine as well, so we'll see how we go with that. I'm up at 26 here, so we're going to take this to the top of the field. And as I was saying last time, I think this field is best works uh, east-west rather than north-south. There's not a whole lot of space, even with the articulated tractor like this. There's not a whole lot of space for it to turn around. Um, so we're just going to run this east-west where we do have that space. It also makes it easier, as I said before, to unload. So uh, let's hire a worker. Let's get it in the right direction and hire a worker. 
and he is away. So that now should clear this field up and uh, and sort that out. Interesting width on that. Uh, that I that will be interesting. Hopefully that won't be too bad. Uh, we're going to head back. Uh, well, we're going to head back down to the shop. So the only way we can do that at the moment is for us to do this and visit. There we go. Right, we need to pick out a spot just the other side of here where we're going to put some uh, chickens in, I think. Now, the chicken, uh, to get the largest chicken hutch, which is what we, we really want to get, uh, that is going to be 40000 So we need to borrow that amount of money. It is the cheapest setup of all of the animals for the smallest enclosure. Um, wool would be the other way to go with this, but uh, I think I think we'll do chickens. Chickens is a good way to go. So we need forty thousand. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. We've borrowed a little bit more than we needed, uh, and then we're going to put in a large chicken coop, which should fit, hopefully, fit in this corner. Don't own this land. Oof gonna be a bit close oh i know why we need to turn it around there we go this is this is not gonna fit here as well as i'd hoped unfortunately we can fit it in here and we can possibly yeah and we can fit it in here so it'll be at the entrance to our farm i think um which is slightly annoying. Not quite where I wanted it. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Where we own the land and everything, that needs to uh, be carefully done. So we're going to need to get our new tractor because our, our piece of kit there, that is too close. Now, I want to have a quick look at the barns and sheds and things. Now, we can only really use the standard sheds uh, on here. So we're looking at putting in uh, these along here and if I can yeah so I can actually get really close to the shop with the sheds so that actually works well for our farm so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our new tractor first so over here and that way we can move our line spreader out of the way because that is a little bit in the way at the moment so tractors and the tractor we're gonna go for is this little thing, this little MB track at 30,000. Yeah, it is a uh, fairly cheap little tractor, which is good. Uh, the version here is only 75 horsepower. Uh, I want to up that, though, to 125. Does add 20,000 to the price tag, um, but uh, but is a good, uh, good size for us, for our tractor. Um, we also want to add a front loader attacher to it. Uh, because we are looking to use this basically as our yard tractor. Other than that, uh, we yeah, not much. I could put a front hydraulic on it. It's going to up by another 3,000. Um, we could put the Midas tyres on it. Uh, which again adds 3,000. So I think we'll go with the Trollborgs. Just trying to keep the price down. Don't need GPS. Uh, don't need the front loaded of folding window. Uh, yeah, that will do there. And now I'd quite like to go with the silver diesel. Uh, which should have that set up. That, I think, is quite a nice color setup. Again, it does add a fair whack to the price. Wow, that really does add a fair whack to the price. So, uh, no, we, we can't afford to do that. <laughs> so, that set up there is 51,000. We have 48,000. We have got to go and borrow one more. So, one more purchase. I really would have loved to have had that uh, that set up, but yeah, not. It's it comes to uh, when you're doing stuff from scratch like this. It, it really does come to um, exactly what you want to uh, get out of it. Uh, now, what's the 
No, we'll go 100, 125 is actually a really good horsepower range. Opens up a lot for us. So, yeah, while I'm tempted to go lower and get the colour I wanted, I don't think that's a good idea. So there we go. That is uh, that is our setup there. So we're going to buy that tractor. And there she blows. So a great little MB track. This, this, uh, this I believe, actually is, again, is part of the... Um, mod contest and we have to go this way because there's quite a big uh, side on the uh, on the bit there on the um, on the side of the shop there big curve that's the word I'm looking for All right so take this and we're, we're using some non-traditional shaped tractors on here um, what I've got planned for our big tractor and when we eventually get to that uh, is uh, is something that is uh, again not not a traditional shaped tractor. So I'm just going to pull this out of the way and cart this down the side of our field over here, as we currently have no use for it. We will eventually use this, of course, for um, for doing uh, fertilizer spreading. Somebody did point out last time that oh I. You know, I, I shouldn't have, uh, I shouldn't keep it for that long and, and things like that. I'm, and I plan to hold it because, uh, yeah, we do need it to do fertilizer spreading with. Right, so let's back this out of the way and put this here because we're going to need this in a minute with the front loader. Uh, and then once again, we need to go and borrow the 40,000. Now we're up to 200,000 with this. So purchase and animal pens, large chicken coop. And we want to try and fill this if we can. Now, if I put this here like so. Yeah, that is as far. That is the deepest I can get this into our farm. Or the closest I can get it to the road. Now, I just want to check where that, yeah, that would lower a little bit there. I actually want to try and get it in the middle a bit, like so. So, hopefully, that hasn't lowered it too far into the ground. And at the same time, has meant that we are in a good place with it. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. It's uh, There's a little bit of raising on this side, but actually we've kept that fairly flat, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, that is all good. What we now need to do is we need to populate this with some chickens. So we've got the choice of the uh, white egg horn. We want uh, an egg that does uh, a lot of eggs. And this is the bird of choice if this is top of your priority. So the white egg horn is probably where we want to go. Uh, we're not trying to get these for um, for anything else, uh, and uh, and wow, we can take. Uh, I don't know how many this takes. Let's have a quick look at that. So this animal pen, this chicken coop, will take four hundred chickens. So I am gonna get as many chickens here as I can, uh, simply because uh, we want to. Uh, yeah. Now, it's not telling me how many there are here. We'll have to look that up in a minute. Well, that's, that is the difficult thing. We just kind of keep going. 400 times 5 is... Uh, well, four fives. So, it should be about £2,000 for 400. That can't be right. Well, we're just gonna we're gonna spend uh, at least a thousand pounds, I think here. But I think times five pounds, yeah, I think that we're we're basically talking that we're gonna have two hundred chickens. There we go, or around about two hundred chickens. Confirm that. Lots and lots and lots of chickens. 
it does not tell me how many we've got. We've got a lot. Um, so we need to get them food and we need to get them water. So, I oh know we just need to get them food. So we need to go and buy some wheat barley. Uh, so we're going to do that. We already have a box of eggs coming out, even though we've not given them any food yet. So let's head back around to the shop and, uh, and grab some food for our chickens as well. So I've borrowed another £5,000 and we are going to get some feed for the chickens. So I'm only going to buy a single bag of feed. Uh, it's 1500 for 1000 litres. Or we look in the big bags here. Uh, right, chicken food. That the these are pretty expensive, to be honest. I think we're going to have to go with the standard. We we want some egg pallets as well. We want these to automatically fill. Uh, so we're going to grab one of those. Yeah. So we're going to need a front loader anyway. So uh, let's grab. One thing of premium chicken feed. That's great. Uh, and then we're going to borrow uh, some more money. So I'm going to add another. I'm going to take us up to 250,000. So we borrowed half our money now. And what we want to add is a front loader for our tractor. We don't need a particularly big one, so the FZ30, which will save us a little bit of money, uh, we will borrow, uh, we will buy this. Uh, we want to get it, if I can get it in, I will get it in the olive. That'll go well with our tractor. Uh, and then we want a pallet fork to go with it as well. We're going to get that in, uh, I think, the jet black. Okay, there we go. So let's go and see how much this uh, this chicken feed fills our chickens. Because then we then we got a good idea as to exactly how much more we need to spend. So we'll hook this up, and yeah, this this olive actually goes really well with this tractor. It's not quite the right colour, but uh, but it'll fit in. Ooh. Fairly nicely. There we go. Hook that up. At some point, we're probably going to need to get a weight for the back of this. And we could probably have gone with the olive, actually, for the front loader. Uh, the forks as well, but never mind. Let's hook this in. Right. That was too low. Yeah, I should have got these forks and olive. There we go, that's better. And on. Now, I'll show you what I meant earlier about the curb being quite long. Oh, wow. There we go, close the door. Yeah, so there's quite a big curb here. So, we, one option is... For us to try and get the land eventually and uh, and just lift and lower that but uh yeah it's not the greatest way to go in and out the farm and we'll probably end up blocking it anyway around the side here and and this is the other th nice thing about the chickens is that they only require the chicken feed there is an animal extension that you can add that will uh, add water into the chickens I don't know what effect that will have with seasons, is the only thing. Right, so let's have a look at that and see where that leaves our chickens. That leaves our chickens almost completely fed. Wow, that did not take a lot of that at all. Uh, so that's good news. we just got to keep an eye on the chickens, keep them fed. Uh, next thing I want then... Uh, as we don't need to worry about uh, anything else, is we do want to grab a couple of egg pallets. So these egg pallets are massively useful. Uh, you buy them and you sell out of them, but you don't lose them. Uh, and basically they automatically fill up uh, at the chickens, which is just brilliant. So when you come to do your selling, uh, you don't have to, to go and 
collect have all these loose boxes uh, you just have a full egg pallet to do it with it's not a huge curb but it's enough to disrupt things a bit it is quite nice being so close to the shop and this is one of the things I do love about FS19 is this ability to uh, to build your farm wherever you want it's just that's just fantastic to me Right, again, slowly over here. We can then go and put this down. Of course, we already have uh, an egg box here. I'm hoping this is automatically going to go into it, but we shall see. Now, credit goes uh, to doing this way of doing this to DJ Goham, who, uh, yeah who I first saw do this and put a load of these uh, these egg pallets in, into here. So we'll take our first egg box and we'll just put that in our egg pallet. Come on, go in. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> That should automatically fill that egg pallet. We'll have a look at that in a moment and try and work out why that's not doing it. But yeah, so these should automatically fill. If not, then this is going to be really interesting. Right, down. We are not straight on that at all. And that's got it. Right, so we need uh, we need to start getting on uh, looking, actually. Uh, I think we'll, what we'll do, I was going to say we need to get to looking to getting this uh, seeded. But we're on day one of the early spring. We've got to remember that with seasons. Uh, we don't have enough uh, to germinate anything at the moment. Uh, and if we look at our coming weather forecast, uh, we are... Uh, we're, we're beginning to get above the temperature, so we're, we're looking at a, a fairly good temperatures for the next few days. Uh, we're certainly heading into double figures as far as stuff goes. So, uh, yeah, we could do some planting, uh, but at the moment what I really want to do is get this field cultivated. So we're going to use this tractor for that as well. Drop that off. And drop that off and let's have a look at what is available in the way of cultivators so we could go cultivator wise uh, 120 horsepower for the coo uh, the Kulma the Kuhn Kulma at three meters anything that's six meters is like 300 horsepower uh, if I look at the uh, power harrows Four meters is a hundred, so there's there's that there and the disc arrows. Uh, hundred and forty for five meters, hundred and eighty for six meters. So we can't do that one, or we could do that one once our other tractor comes free. In fact, we could do the disco lander even. Yeah, we could we could go up to the the performer here at uh, that's a four meter one. But that's a six meter, that Amazon. So, where's our other tractor? How is that doing? And this is the trouble. So, this is, uh, this is most of the way through this job. Now, this case, uh, this case plow, I think that requires quite a bit of power. Let's have a quick look at that. Uh, so that requires 245, so it is uh, stretching this uh, tractor at the moment. So I think we'll, uh, we'll let this get finished uh, and move it on to the next field. So with our other tractor currently taken up doing the uh, plowing with the case plow, now might actually be the best time for us to get our third tractor, I think. So let's, uh, let's head over here to the large tractors. Now, getting a large tractor at this stage is something I wouldn't have expected to be able to do, except for this is available on the Mod Hub. Now, this is the IMT 5360. 
Uh, it is... Well, it is a Massey under the hood. Uh, INT ha ha had a long-standing agreement uh, with buying uh, basically the Massey setups. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, this is it looks like a Massey because uh, yeah, I, I don't know whether a Massey version of this was ever made to be honest, but certainly yeah, it is based on on, on stuff from Massey. Um, it gives you a whacking three hundred and sixty horsepower for only 96,000. So it's a big cost for us, but it really will give us a lot of bang for our buck. Um, now the most powerful version of it is 550. 550 horsepower for 110,000 is absolutely incredible. Um, so uh, yeah, I think, I think this is a great track to go with. Um, it's going to cost us. It's going to cost us half of our remaining money. Is the biggest worry here. So uh, yeah, standard design and uh, without fenders makes no difference. Uh, I think that adding ten thousand for the uh, for the extra for the twin wheels might be a bit much. Uh, one hundred twenty-five thousand. I think. I think we will go with the one hundred twenty-five thousand. We are going to shell out the cash on this, and uh, and get this fully done uh, piece of kit. Um, because yeah, I think I I think it will be great for us to have it. So we need a hundred and twenty-five thousand for this. Let's take our uh, borrowing up to. We got thirty-nine thousand here, so actually we're not going to take half of our remaining money. Uh, we are going to, oh, we've got to borrow a little bit more. Uh, so we're up to 340,000, uh, 129,000 here. So this is, this is dangerous. This is why we have the chickens and we are going to have to do some, uh, work, uh, so far as contracts and things in order to continually pay for this. But at 500, I, do you know what? I am going to save myself 400,000. We can always come and update it later. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, we don't need 550 horsepower and it will save us 4,000. So we, we won't do that. We're going to go with this setup here. We're going to buy this, uh, absolutely perfect. Uh, and that means that we can now get some sort of a cedar that will, uh, that will also uh, do cultivation. Uh, or we can just get a nice big cultivator. A nice big cultivator that will do <laughs> the Amazon there. Um, what have we got? The Centrus. Here we go. 300 horsepower here uh, for this. At six meters for that Amazon. Uh, 350 horsepower for the 15 meter soft disc. Wow. Uh, that is 100. So this is almost as much as the uh, the tractor we've just bought. So I think it's a little bit out of our price range. But yeah, again, that's a 15 meter cultivator. Uh, it's actually a bit big for what we're doing at the moment. Uh, we've got, uh, yeah, basically we've got quite a bit of choice here, uh, which surprises me greatly. Uh, but we can do any of these. 43,000 for the Centrus that does six meter, uh, that has three horsepower, uh, 300 horsepower is not a bad choice at all, I think. Uh, so let's grab that. Uh, we are for 68,000. So uh, let's go buy that. Now, harvester wise, I am doing, uh, I'm not going to be buying a harvester. So that's why I'm not worried too much about the money that I'm in a situation around. I've only got 100,000 left. So. Yeah, we've only got 100,000 left. We need to buy a cedar yet as well. Uh, now, we can probably get away with a smaller cedar. I would like something that does six meters. If we're not doing... If we're not having to... Oh, you see six meter cedar there for 76,000 on the Vatastad. We're probably better off going that way, actually. Uh, without cultivating, I think we, uh, that requires, well, the Pronto is 104 now. 
that requires uh, 180 horsepower. So actually, I think that is a probably a better way to go looking at this. We can't afford any of the really big stuff. We really will uh, destroy our cash. Um, but if we're going to have to buy a cedar and the stuff that doesn't automatically uh, do that you need to uh, cultivate first. Yeah, we, we need we need to we need to get a cedar that we we're not worrying about that with. Uh, and the, the Matasad Rapide here, six meters is actually really good. So we're going to borrow that little bit more money. Take us up to 78,000. Which means that we're not going to be doing this today because I don't want to get myself in a position uh, where we're going to have crops in trouble. There we are. So that there is all done. So we're still, we're doing, still doing a fair amount of setup here as well. But what a piece of kit this is. This will, this tractor will stand us in good stead for a very long while. There we are. And when I said we are using some fairly odd tractors on here, we are using some fairly odd tractors. None of, uh, yeah, none, none of the really the regular brands that we normally use. Um, it's all uh, cheaper. It's cheaper stuff, uh, mainly Eastern European. And uh, and yeah, it comes along very nicely. Now the other thing I want to do, we need to we need to get something that we can on a regular basis fill off. Uh, actually, it's not in the silos. We are going to need a silo, but. I'm going to grab one of these. This is the multi-filling station. It is 10,000. We don't have the money for it at the moment. So let's... Oof. This is beginning to get tight. Because we still need to buy things like uh, seed and stuff like that. So I'm going to get the black edition multi-filling station. And because there's not an awful lot of space, uh, I'm going to turn it and put it in here. And that should give me a good amount of space to fill it off. We will just zoom in and check that we are doing that. Yep, yeah, so nicely front there. And that gives us the multi-filling station there. This is where uh, reversing with one of these is fun. There we go. Now this seeds, but it doesn't fertilize. There we go. Fill it up with seeds. Perfect. And there we go. So we will be doing some seeding next time, probably with this piece of kit, I think. Uh, our other tractor has finished its current task. Um, but uh, we're going to I'm going to get that to sort. I'm going to get that sorted on the other stuff it was doing. And, uh, and get that finished. For now though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.